Hello everyone. Um, see we've got a few people on the uh, chat already. So the stream will be starting uh, properly, um, well, shortly. Um, so, first of all, um, if you've got any questions or anything like that, obviously, please put them in the chat. Or if you just want to chat about anything, please feel free to do so in the chat. It's always nice to see if people are uh, listening and uh, watching. So I know I'm not completely alone, especially as we're creating uh, horror soundtracks today. So, <clears throat> just to go over what I mean by that. Um, for some of you, you may have listened to the album that I created. Uh, thank you if you have done so. It's had over 100 um, streams just on Spotify alone, which is incredible. The link for that album is in the uh, is down below in the description so that you are, have got that um, link if you wish to check it out, if you haven't already, or if you just want to listen to it again, which is obviously amazing. Um, so... I, uh, I've been talking to a couple of friends lately and uh, I came up with this idea that uh, maybe it'd be quite nice, especially under the lockdown scenario um, that we're a lot of us are currently in. Um, I don't know if anyone else is here from around the world and it's a bit different, but in the UK we're pretty much in lockdown um, all over. So I thought it might be quite nice just to bring up um, effectively how I've created music for the dystopian prophecy um album that I released and also just to kind of go through a process of making a horror sound together. So first of all, what I've done is you'll see behind, I've got an image here. Um, obviously that's set up um, as a nurse in a hallway, well it looks like a ghost nurse or I hope it does, and in a bit of a rundown hospital hallway. So the first thing that I like to do when I start working on a soundtrack um, I suppose this is essential in all forms of music, to be fair, is to get an essence of a character that you are creating a theme or a leitmotif or whatever you want to call it for, just to give a general uh, vibe to that character and that um, environment. So I found this picture. I edited, edited a, uh, the nurse in with a different hallway um, my aim for today's um, live lesson, live session, or whatever you want to call it, is just to show you the process that I go through, and then hopefully at the end we can share this picture again, and I'll play the piece that we come up with, and hopefully it will sound good. So I don't want to bore you too much. Um, I just, you know, we'll get started. So first of all, thank you very much uh, for joining me. Uh, I can see that there are some people there who have. Um, so like I say, please... Feel free to chat. Um, I'll respond to messages as best I can, um, and so on and so forth. So, <clears throat> so what you should be getting? Oh, he says it's not to uh, come up properly for some reason. I've had an issue. Hang on. First issue. This is the first time I've done a, a live stream, so I do apologise if uh, it does look a bit rough in places. So there we go. Right, so here's, um, effectively, here's Logic. So I use Logic Pro a lot. Um, it's just the software that pretty much, you know, I was, I've just been using since day one. So the other thing I've got beside me is a MIDI keyboard. I've actually got Novation Launch Key 25. See if I can bring that up. So I'm just using that. Um, I just think it's quicker than me inputting all the MIDI data all the time, just so that we can speed up uh, the process for listening uh, purposes. So, let's check it's working. Let's turn it up and make sure it's working. Okay, so that's working. Okay, so what we're going to do, what I like to do um, when I first start creating these kind of soundtrack ideas is I like to use a drone note so what that effectively means is that if i first of all i'm going to load up um, a synthesizer that i like first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to find a sound i like i'm going to use today i'm going to use all stock plugins that you get um with logic there are times when i like to use um arteria synths um which is the matrix and um profit models which are obviously all brilliant so <laughs> Already we're getting a synth. Now, 
Okay, not warm after really. So again, some quite good sounds there. There's a bit too much going on in that. So what I like to do, sometimes the first thing I want to do is I want to, like say, find something that can give me a nice uh, drone sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in horror first here just to see what we've got. This is one thing I love about alchemy. So thruster, what's thruster going to sound like? Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Crystal caves. Okay, so what I'm doing there, I'm going to use crystal caves just as a starting point. Um, so, got crystal caves here. What? Great caves, sorry, crystal caves. What I want to do on uh, with this is I want to effectively create this long drone sound. So, my thought here is what I like to do with soundscape soundtrack with horror is I like to make it so that effectively what we get is the potential for our synthesizers to breathe. So if I hold down a note, um, so on the keyboard, what I mean is just to show you, I will hold down one note. Then I might down, hold down a second. Just make sure you can actually see that. Yeah, and then play whatever. So it's just so that I don't have any rules. I remember seeing an interview with Jason Graves, who does uh, a lot of horror video game music, and he said the best thing about horror, writing horror music is that there are no rules. And uh, I have to admit that I completely love that idea because, you know, it's, it's one of those where I think, you know, it's great to let things breathe and to let them kind of tell the story themselves. So... Let's start with this. I'm just going to let this ring out until I effectively think mm, it's getting a bit boring. feel like we've kind of got to the end. So I want to create this nice, uh, I say nice, it should be quite scary. This horror soundscape. Uh, sorry, just bear with me a second. I'm just having some tech stuff. Is anybody in the chat? That's my question. It says that I've got uh, some people here, but for some reason no one's chatted yet. I feel like normally if Dougie was here, he would have said something by now. It's, it's eerie. Just want to make sure I've not muted you all or something ridiculous like a button that I should have pressed. Ah, Danny's here. Oh, Danny, I didn't know you were joining. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So, again, here we go then. So, I'm just going to let this breathe. I'm going to record it. And I'm just going to mess about with notes. As I say, the great thing about horror music is there are no rules, as they like to say. Oh, always supporting the fan friend, of course, of course. Just going to turn that track off. I'm always streaming that. So we can get there then with some Silent Hill to horror music. <laughs> so all I'm really doing here, my chord that's coming up with is insane. All I'm doing is pressing down and holding down different notes with the original note. I'm not thinking about key, 
I'm just kind of going with what sounds good. So effectively what that's given us is a bit of an undercurrent, if you will, of uh, music that we can effectively use. I just want to make sure that that first note is definitely there. There we go. So that's given us a sense of um, a background uh, ambience with the, uh, obviously with this sound. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to add another instrument. And what I like to do is now that this has effectively set out my um, sound for the whole soundscape is just add things over this so we can build, we can take things away and so on and so forth. So uh, what I'm going to do is I like to use in this regard, I like to use things like bells. So let's see if we can find a good creepy kind of bell sound. So if I go on here and again. We'll go and use Alchemy, so I'm going to use these uh, lovely stock plugins as why not. So let's find some mallets or bells or whatever we want to call them. Again, I'm going to see, just type in horror, just have interest, pick them up, no. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flick through some of these, see what we've got. I have a feeling that bamboo soup is not going to be what I'm after. So let's try 80s. 80s is always a good sound that we can have. So I'm going to raise the pitch as well, because that was actually uh, minus two down on the pitch on my keyboard that's hence why it was so low so if we add things like it sounds very nightmare on arm street <laughs> so that's bright let's have a look at the different ones So let's give that a go. So what I'm going to do is record, and I'm just going to add bits in where I think it sounds right. Obviously, this is a trial and error basis, um, and we'll see what works and what doesn't.
So I'm just using those same notes over and over again, but just using them in a different order. So now we've got some bells, I just want to change one of them over here. I went on to another, I don't quite agree with that. I'll look at it later. So, so now we're starting to build up more and more and more and more layers. So the next one I want to add in is another software instrument. I'm not going to use the uh, piano. I feel like I won't mind another synth. So what I might add now is a pad. So again, let's go to Alchemy. I'm going to add a little pad over here. And let's see if we can find, I'll go on uh, dark so that we can find quite a, you know, evil, nasty sounding kind of pad, if you will. Um, we'll put this down to pitch one. So we've effectively had minus two, one, and uh, uh, two and one. So, so again, straight away. So that's quite nice. Um, see if distance works better. So, play again. The great thing about this is I feel that by listening to the song over and over again, you get an idea of what's going to work. I feel like this choir is something that I'm going to be bringing in more towards the end of the actual uh, song. That choir is almost, it's like we're walking the hallways and the choir is almost representing the nurse character from the beginning picture that we have. So maybe for Danny's amusement, if you're playing Dead by Daylight, every time you hear the choir, that means she's near.
Okay, so again, we've got that essence that something's being added. I'm going to add um, another choir sound because I really like the idea of doubling that up at the end and actually adding another sound that really will kind of pinch through and make it even more uncomfortable, I suppose, if you will. Um, so I'm actually going to do that a bit faster by just uh, grabbing that and duplicating it. And I'm not going to play the whole thing because I know I want it around this area. So let's get rid of that and let's see how it does sound high level. Not the best. Let's have a look at a different choir. I, I need something that's going to be a bit more impactful than that. Uh, Ooh, deception. Now back, let me see if I can. Yeah, I love that. I'm going to add that actually into both sections. I think that will add a nice layer to it. So let's go. So again, it's like the characters are coming and going, uh, which is something that I really like. Um, I'll tell you what, Danny, while you're here on the chat, how long do you reckon it's going to be before we get another killer Silent Hill game? Seems It always seems that they just do DLC <laughs> for other games. As great as Dead by Daylight is, of course. By this game, we move for Dead by Daylight. Then. I think I'm going to have to join you for a live game at some point this week. <laughs> and there's a pain in that release, so I don't know. It's crazy though, because so many people clearly want to. Funny thing is, as well, there's been um, there's a new HP Lovecraft looking game as well that's come out. I can't remember what it's called, and um, that's coming out that I've seen advertised a lot. That looks really interesting. Um, so I'm going to see if I can create some kind of weird melody. Yeah, but DVD is just brilliant. I mean, it is it is a good laugh. Just remember that um, you know I've got I'm brilliant at that game. I've got the uh, I know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, I saw the Call of Duty. It's not that. It's more like um, it's more like a game where you're on like an island and all the monsters are influenced by it. I'll have to send you a link when we're off the uh, video. This is definite. It, it does look quite interesting, actually. Um, yeah, it looks it looks really, really, really interesting. Let's see if we can get a nice. Horrible, glitchy um, lead synth going on. Mm, not sure about that. So, so, swamp, swamp thing. Yeah, I can get that, that medium, because uh, I've got Xbox uh, Pass on the PC. I might have a look at that. It looks interesting. Yeah, I've got two split screens, haven't you? Ones where it's like the world of Silent Hill, if you will, and then obviously the world that the medium's living in normally.
not feeling it. Let's try it to be dark. What we got for dark? Oh, I'm gonna use that as my first melody, Groundwater. Sounds quite nice that, actually. Right, let's see how this is gonna fit in. Yeah, I was thinking, that's what I love about that pass though. Um, it just gives you so many options. And for, what is it? I can't remember how much I paid for a month now, but it doesn't feel like much. I should look into that. I don't know. I don't check enough. I should really think about looking at that. Um, I never really look. You know, I should. Ah, oh, I see. I suppose it was only a matter of time though. I mean, to get new games like Medium, basically, for I say nothing, you pay for it, but. You know what I mean? It's one of them, isn't it, where you think, well, you know. I don't think you can really complain too much. Could be a lot worse. A lot, lot worse. <laughs> yeah, it's not time. Okay, so I brought in a bit of a melody now. So, you know, with horror, I know you can get your catchier melodies and things like that. Um, but in some ways, what I'm trying to achieve here is just to make it as creepy as possible. Because obviously, you can get your little. Uh... Lost it. Hopefully, I don't get sued now by YouTube for playing that. But yeah, I'm going to see if there's any interesting kind of uh, orchestral, uh, orchestral, percussive, percussive um, stuff that I could use. Because if we're in a hall, I like the idea of something being there that's a little bit, um, you know, like someone's in there and they're hitting things and, and so on. So let's see what we've got. I've already got mallets and things like that. So is there anything else? Uh, iron mallets. Junglist, what's a future junglist? Man, that's at home. Oh dear. Yeah. Might be a bit too much for us. Um, so what else have we got? Oh, some effects, aren't they? Um, right, so let's have a look. I know, jammy jammy. I like to think that I'm not just a one-trick pony. 
Although most people would say I'm not even a one-trick pony. So, <laughs> um, right, let's have a look. Um, tell you what, a guitar might be quite nice. I've always been a, against um, using guitars unless they're actual guitars I'm physically playing. But let's see how we can get a weird. Um, maybe. Um, I mean, you'd have to really lower it, I think, Dane, for it to work. But I'll, I'll give your suggestion a go. I go. I tell you what. When we get the lady, this is when the nurse appears. We'll see if it works in there. I'll give it a go. No, I'm not feeling that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it works. Let's try. Um, I'll tell you what might work though. We go for something like uh, blocks and bells. It did sound different. Not feeling it. Let's go for. Let's get an arpeggiator in there. Uh, oh, Japanese. You've got to love a Japanese. A <laughs> gong. <laughs> Sounds too nice. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think what could work. I'll tell you what might work. Let's go on to um, the usual. Let's go on alchemy. I might be not to use just. Sometimes it's quite nice to get a bit of a arpeggiated bass underneath just to give it a bit of a movement, but. Oh yeah, the screechy violin's coming in, don't worry, that, that's definitely coming at some point. Too much. Try and be it, see what it comes up with. I think we're going to try a screechy violin. I don't know. I don't think we need the arpeggiator, to be honest. Just thinking, um, I have got whispering sounds, yeah. I've also got uh, some samples to bring in, yeah. I've got a uh, heart monitor for a hospital, and I've got footsteps that I want to bring in as well, uh, which I'm going to bring in. But I'm going to use what you suggested, Danny, because I think you're right. Let's get some, uh, let's get some violins in here. So a double bass on that oh, might be a bad shout, you know. That does not sound like a double bass to me. That's better. Right. Let's try from around here. Let's not put that there. Try again. Oh, that's kind of about a four. OK, 
pair them up here, kind of. Like. Watch me. Is this Silent Hill esque? I feel like it's a bit, um, it sounds a bit Halloween y to me, which is no bad thing. Cool, that's what we're aiming for. Well, that's what I was aiming for at the start, anyway, for the video, for certain. Yeah, that's, the plan is that I wanted to have a build-up. Some heavy metal. <laughs> like, we got the best. Like the bullet from my Valentine kind of intro, where it's like, and go for that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, cool. I'm just going to turn the double bass up because it's very low actually, because I realized I changed it for that beat. Uh, right, let's get some more stringy stringy in this bad boy. Um, I did used to actually use, um, I wonder if I've still got it on here. Um, contact strings that they have in there. I don't think I can access them though. Um, and so I haven't got my hard drive plugged in. It's gone on, I don't think. I'll just check. That's what I expected. So we use the uh, strings here. So let's go with Studio Violins 1. So again, I might get the violins to actually mimic the uh, melody. So we had Yeah, you could do. I might bring the violins just in at the start. Let's see how it sounds. Sounds like they do. Um, what it plugged. Oh, a heart. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Uh, Asian. Oh, we could have an Asian nurse. No, that's not that. Um, well, you mean the with the violins in? Yeah, I can give it a go then if you think. Just wasn't sure if it worked or not. Let's try it. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. That's not going to work. Uh, Let's have a look at some light of rubber going some light of. Uh, I'll just see. Um, Can't see for looking. There we go. Right. Um. Yeah, 
Give it a go. Tell you what, it sounds quite nice at the start. Um, I'm going to keep it in there and then I can slowly bring it out through um, automation after. Yeah, I think we need it to be more like the say going on. I'll show you these up cool horror ice things in a minute. Not bad for a quick stab on a. Uh, let's see what I get. Not bad. Right, so let's get adding in. Um, oh, that's what I want to add in first. The little cool thing I always like to add in for fun. Horror ice, I think it's called. And it sounds like little quick stabs of ghosts going around. Uh, so that sounds like these. So 
so you can get that working in nicely. Cool. So we've added the ice horror. I love that effect. Right, so now I'm going to add in the sample. Let's get in the heart monitor first, I think. I think that's got to be the sign that she's coming. I just think that sounds like a really sick idea to do that. If I do so myself, it could not work. We'll find out. So I want to do before I add it, though, is I'm just going to... Because obviously the problem is I don't really want the beep... Um, I think the beep's a bit dramatic. Drama queen? What's that about? Everyone always says I'm a drama queen. Oh, you mean the thing? It won't be for a second. Now let's get the delay on it. That's not done anything because I'm on the wrong one, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, oh, this one. Right, I'll just turn it down a little bit. Before we add any delay or anything, let's add a reverb. <laughs> let's make it massive. Thank you. 
Dar bene. Give us two uh, things, one at the dog. <laughs> can we do to it to make it really mm. more about book for sure That sounds quite good. I might just pitch it down a bit. Say this to us, how's the whole thing? Don't have to be so uh, in time with each other, that's cra crazy timings for him.
Right, let's put in the footsteps and see what happens. Uh, footsteps. Ah, the footsteps would work quite nicely on the build up section. So when when our nurse is supposed to be arriving. Which is the required, isn't it? Let's see what that sounds like. Right, so that's not too bad. I think the general idea is there anyway. So effectively, that's how we're creating creepy music. I'm going to add in, though, I think, just because I feel like it needs it. I'm just going to add in. Thank <laughs> you. 
For this it's quite a bit especially. I want to add in maybe like a strumming instrument. Something that could go with the strumming. So let's have a little gone yay. Seven chest. Cool. All right, uh, let's go with something that's going to work. Let's get some. We'll go with alchemy again. A beast growling. sound effect to put in. Uh, right, and then we'll call it after this and just do it with a picture and see how it sounds. So let's see how this works. All right, Dougie. No worries, mate. No, that's fine, mate. You're all right. You're never late for them Dragon Ball uh, streams.
Yeah, uh, just uh, I came up with a picture and it was of like a nurse in a hallway, spooky hallway, Silent Hill, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, just creating a bit of a horror soundscape to it. Um, I think, to be honest, for how it's going, I think it sounds all right. Uh, we've got some nice uh, sounds going on there. I think that the, uh, the footsteps are working better now. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the picture now and see how it genuinely does sound and if it's worked well. Before I do that, I'm going to do the quickest thing ever, which is I'm going to give it a very, very quick uh, mastering um, in the respect of uh, just making it so it's mastered very quickly. Uh, I got it from freesounds.com. Um, yeah, that's where I got that from. Same with the beat. Uh, that's where I got that from as well. Um, free to use, you just go on, create an account and it all works. Um, so I'm just going to do electronic, uh, just master assistant it. It's going to turn the audio down uh, because otherwise it makes a lot of horrible noises as it's working on the thing. This is obviously just a very, very quick mastering system using Isotope Sozo 9 um, just as a quick thing so yeah um, so kind of concluding in some regards obviously the horror thing for today I mean is anyone interested in anything else I mean I'm thinking about putting together a bit of like a metal uh, soundtrack kind of thing you know like you get in your fighting video games and stuff I don't mind doing that as a bit of um, as something to work on as well just because I feel that um, I just feel like that'd be something I like to do. So, like you know, um, for example, what I mean, I suppose, is uh, uh, can you see this on my screen? You can, can't you? Yeah. So what I mean is, uh, if I type in, uh, get that screen. Thinking about um, <laughs> I'd love to make some dollar. Um, I don't get many views though, Danny. I think I really need to build up the empire. <laughs> but the thing I'm thinking about doing next, I'm going to play it in a second with the picture. But the thing I want to get your guys' opinion. Um, so I'm going to be picking up the guitar from... Uh, at some point to uh, use. Um, I don't know why it's being so rubbish and slow. Bear me a second. Free advertising there, guys. Loads of videos up. Um, so I want to be able to create something next, I think, that's going to have this kind of sound to it. Um, so let me just show what I mean. So I want to be able to create like some metal or something that has this kind of sound. Um, oh, I didn't realize there was. Yeah, I could do Skillshare. Yeah, I might do actually. Um, so yeah, this is the, uh, oh, I don't know why it's loaded up FL Studio. Maybe that's the issue. I have no idea how I've loaded up FL Studio. Um, so this is what I'm thinking of doing next. Let tell me what you think, this kind of style. <laughs> My other passion now than two. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think. I'd love to get, I think that's what I'm going to aim to do next. I think I'm going to start creating some videos and get my guitar involved 
Um, I just wanted to show the horror sound stuff because of the dystopian prophecy thing. And I think it'd be quite fun to get that. Um, I mean, it's obviously me. It's got Dragon Ball written all over it. But uh, yeah, definitely something that I'm going to be looking at doing in the future. Um, that's all right, uh, Jonathan, mate. No worries. We're just, uh, to be honest, we're just about wrapping up. I've created basically a horror sound, but you can listen to it if you like. I'm going to show... Um, I'm going to basically play this in the background and show the picture that I used that I had for my inspiration. Um, and I've just been saying to Danny, um, I think next time I'm going to get my guitar and uh, I'll get putting together some kind of heavy metal, kind of hard rock instrumental stuff that you tend to get in some of the fighting video games that obviously I'm really into and things like that. But I do appreciate you coming along, mate. I know you said you, you had your lessons earlier. I hope, um, hope your lessons went well. Um, that you was doing earlier, mate. It's always good to see you. Also, just as a free shout out, uh, Mr. B's ukulele channel. Go check it out if you're interested in ukulele. Fantastic lessons on there. I even watch them, and I don't even own a ukulele. <laughs> but they're fantastic um, from Mr. B's ukulele channel. So, yeah, I remember you saying uh, about your virtual band nights. That's awesome. Um, yeah, fantastic. Um, so I'm going to just show the end product that we've got as I said I've done this is a very basic quick mastering thing obviously it's only taken an hour and 20 minutes to kind of uh, put together so here's the picture um, that was with it so this was the picture I'm going to remove myself um, from the video and I'm just going to play the song and we'll see if it fits quite nicely with that. Here we go. overran by the way um jonathan i love the uh i've had a bit of an overload from buffer size but you get the general idea i love that by the way yeah that did make me laugh um <laughs> sorry i i couldn't get a ukulele i didn't get a ukulele in the track it's blasphemy but uh yeah i had to laugh it's uh <laughs> so yeah um i think to be fair that's uh probably gonna <laughs> it is I think next time what we'll have to do Jonathan we'll have to collaborate we'll have to get an online um, live session uh, Nathan Art Music and Mr B's ukulele channel 
and um, we'll have to do something together as a live performance. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jonathan. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I think thank you very much, guys, for popping by when you could. I honestly do appreciate uh, the support and everything else uh, that goes into this. Uh, I do play bass and drums, yeah. Um, bass, drums, guitar, um, those kind of things. Rocker at art, mate. Rocker at art. That doesn't sound right with my Hina accent. Rocker at art. Rocker at art. Rocker at heart. <laughs> no pun intended with the name either. So. But yeah, um, we'll have to sort something out, uh, Jonathan. We can always talk about it. Um, I was going to say, I was going to hit you up in our WhatsApp group just to uh, ask about if we're going to uh, be doing any BGA, Board Game Arena, um, at some point in the, ne in the next few days as well. Yeah, we'll definitely plan a collab, absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, we could get some British humour as well uh, from Kohai as well. I think that would work quite nicely, get the British humour in. We can base it on a video game as well for him, so it works for the channel. I think that would be quite a, uh, a fun thing to do. Yeah, Friday night, mate, absolutely. Yeah, Friday night sounds great. If Dan, uh, yeah, that sounds great. See if uh, if there's room, we might be able to squeeze Danny in as well, because I know she's lurking around somewhere. She's been lurking around this whole time, bless her. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, guys, thank you very much. I'm going to uh, wrap it up. Uh, so that's just Crane Horror Soundtrack Soundscape there. Um, hopefully, well, so hopefully this video should go up live if you want to watch it back. But I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> you are Danny um, I'm going to leave this uh, I'm going to upload this track sorry uh, with the image and the song behind it just as a you know this is what we came up with in that time so thanks a lot guys have a great evening um, yeah awesome so yeah we're definitely going to get the BGA meeting going up on uh, on Friday so yeah I'll talk to you in the WhatsApp group and stuff guys and uh, yeah thank you very much until next time.